What's up everybody, I'm Benny Obscene, and if there's one thing that this garage does not need, another project. And while I've had a variety of different bikes over the years, everything from old cafe racers to brand new sport bikes, what I've never done or what I haven't done yet is a full frame up build. And that's what this is gonna be. A long-term nut and bolt build of a bike just the way that I want it. And so the cool part about this project, since there's no timeline, there's no rush, there's no rules, I get to do everything the way that I wanna do the style that I want to do, the layout, everything, top to bottom, just how I want it. You don't get to have that freedom, I think, with a lot of other types of builds. So that's probably what I'm looking forward to most with this one. So what's the plan? Well, the first step is to liberate this engine from this frame. As I said before, I want to get everything down to the absolute bare minimum, and that way I can start working on the frame to get it just how I want uh, before it goes into, I don't know, paint or powder coat or something, and then also get this engine cleaned up as best as possible. There's a number of different ways to get the engine out of these frames. You can uh, unbolt everything, and if you've got a buddy, you can just lift these out. I think the, the 550 engine's around 120 pounds. Um, so no, as tough as I look on screen, that's just a little bit too much for me to manhandle on my own here today. The other option is you can tip the thing over, undo all the bolts, and then lift the frame off. That's one way to do it. The third option, which is what I think I'm gonna do, is if you have like an engine crane or hoist available, uh, you can even rig it up on jack stands. You basically support the weight of the engine, undo the bolts, and then just slide it out from the right-hand side. So I think that's the approach I'm gonna take. Uh, gonna try and work smarter, not harder on this one, and, and see how that works out. thought it was going to be. Uh, so note to self, note to anybody that's watching this and, and obviously me in the future when I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing back in the motorcycle. Very important, you got to take off the front little oil cooler thingy, um, but you also have to take off the, the, like the whole sump on the bottom in order to get the clearance to get out of the frame um, nicely. It was found up top here, found on the bottom, so the right combination of pulling stuff off 
as well as just tipping the frame back and forth, finally was able to get everything uh, clear and get the engine out of the bike. So now, I think I just gotta clean up this mess and figure out where I can stash this in the garage. And I think the last thing I'm gonna do here is just get the, uh, the frame broken down a little bit more. And that way I can say that at least I've got this down to the bare frame. So we'll go ahead and take this rear end off, slip the front off, and that'll be that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure when the next motorcycle episode will be. Oh, good, washers. Not sure when the next motorcycle episode will be, but you'll find it here. Just go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you're into it. I'll see everybody next time. Thank you.